This is one of my favorite things from the Balkans. Peppers with cheese. <laughs> That's a really spicy pepper. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful prison, Kosovo, the most beautiful city in the country. This city is really ancient, but it really became important during the Ottoman period. As you can see, it looks like a 19th century Ottoman town, cobblestone streets, incredible architecture, lots of mosques. And this morning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how they make traditional goods, you know, food, jewelry, etc. And then after that, we're gonna go eat some delicious Kosovo food at restaurant Tiffany. So first half of the day, we'll use it to explore the best shops of prison. So what do they offer? Sweets, uh, jewelry, as you mentioned, so many good things to see here. So let's start with the first one, Tetova, which has a lot of sweets. Tetova, so you got nuts, you have dates, lots of different things here since 1956. So basically here, tons of different nuts. We have jellies, we have sours, we have worms, you know, mix of things. And what is this one? This is Kikirike. Kikirike? Yeah. Let me try it. All right, all right let's go, let's go. Mmm, salty. Salty, roasted. Mmm, nice nut. Yeah. Dude, you're behind? Yeah, man, so I, I have to be the, the salesman here. So, what do you want to try? You want to try some nuts? Let's try nuts. So, these are walnuts? Mmm. <clears throat> Alright, so basically, we're eating all these nuts. You want to try some sweets, man? Just one. I'm like a super thick gummy bear. All right, so that's it. We had nuts, a little bit of sweets. I'm good with gummies. It's really too early for me. I just had burk a little while ago. I think next we should go to another shop. Maybe something more just like, you know, jewelry or something. Okay. Yeah, we'll go some jewelry shop and see how they make uh, gold or silver. Let's see. So this fountain is like the city center, the, the very, very center of prison. And this fountain has a uh, legend. So people say if you drink water from this fountain, you'll stay forever in uh, prison. How can you stay in prison forever? You have to marry with a prison girl. You are married, so I am the lucky one. <laughs> Drink. <sighs> I'm really, really thirsty. Oh, it's so fresh. Mm. It's like ice cold, man. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm married, so. No luck for the prison girls. <laughs> Next up, we're entering a perfume shop. So if you can see, he sells uh, perfumes. It's uh, original because oil? I take oil. Oh. It's no problem. I take oil from France. Oh, okay. This is oil. Only oil. This oil. is from France. This example, Invictus. France. Invictus. Yes, Invictus. Wow. That smells amazing. So this gentleman is actually from Kosovo, but his grandfather went to Syria for about 40 years and that's how he got into the perfume industry. I love his shop, man. Everything smells amazing. We're gonna buy anything? You gonna buy anything? Yeah, I'm gonna buy Paco Rabanne. I'm making auto perfume. This is perfume oil. This only oil. Water. This alcohol. 95. This is now Odo Parfum. Oh, this for you. So he's basically making us our own perfume. Yes. This is a 1 million lucky. It's new from Bakoraban. This oil. This water. This alcohol. This now, auto perfume. Million lucky. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oh, it smells great. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. We must change million. This guy's way too nice. Look, he'll give us this for free. Amazing. Lemonade. Foundation Fali. Fali Thank you. Thank you so much. This guy's way too nice. Too nice. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye, ciao. I smell amazing now. Thank you. I smell like a billion dollars. <laughs> Thank you. This place is called Luli Filigran since 1968. Hi, hello. Hello. My friend, hello. how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you. Hi. This is uh, Filigran? Yes. 
He's on the field again. His father has worked on it 47 years ago. Authentic. Authentic. So all these are made by his father. The production he showed us is the production that his father has made. But the rest is imported from different countries. So most things here are for women, obviously, but there's a few things that males can buy, like this, the double eagle from Albania, right? I love this one. And what's Albanian this? symbol. Albanian symbol? Oh, this is beautiful. Just handmade. Just handmade? This is incredible. Love it, man. Lots of work here, lots of detail. Okay, so I have to buy my kids something. I looked around, I saw everything they had, and I decided to get two like this. So they're filigrans, but they go on the necklace, right? Yeah. So he's choosing a necklace for each. Look at this, beautiful. And he gave me a super duper price. Come here, don't buy this anywhere else in the Balkans. You have to come to this spot, this shop. Amazing stuff. This guy's the man. This guy, too much. Thank you very much. much. You're welcome. The filigrams are beautiful. I bought a few things for my kids, also bought for my wife. Thank you. You are super, welcome. Super. Thank you very much. Come here, we'll give you a great price. Okay, so now we're going to see a sewer, a very old sewer. He has for years been doing that job. And you see the gentleman is walking. Ciao, oh, Savona, Savona. Savona. Wow. So the gentleman, Rival Kovacic. Rival, Rival Kovacic. He has 60 years doing this job. Pretty nice. This is something you don't see every day. You know, a sewer right here on the main street of a city. Incredible spot. This is awesome. That's incredible. 60 year old iron. 100 year old, I guess, iron board, right? Iron board, yeah. Iron board, that cup's 100 years old as well. Mm -hmm. This place is ancient. Into prison and you rip your shirt, your pants, anything, come here, we'll fix it in one minute, one euro. That's it. Falimenderi, falimenderi, falimenderi. Ciao, ciao, falimenderi, falimenderi. Falimenderi, ciao, ciao, ciao. All right, guys, we are starving. It's noon. We're going to Tiffany's and we're walking here on the main boulevard. As you can see, there's cafes and restaurants everywhere. Lots of seating. The terraces, he was saying they're almost never full because there's like a thousand tables. A lot, a lot of bars. <laughs> so many. And I mean, I just love the architecture, you know, two story buildings. These were all houses at one point. Now most of them have commercial on the bottom and on the top, you know, offices. Some people still live in some of these though. And Tiffany's is actually right there. And this is Tiffany restaurant, traditional Kosovo food. As soon as you enter, as you can see over here, dining area. And in the middle, this is what I love the most. Here we have an open air kitchen. We have vegetables, we have the oven, we have the grill. So they also have a dining area to the right and they have a terrace. And in the terrace, what I love about it is the vines on top. So you have grape vines with grapes, huge area. I'm excited, I can't wait. It's gonna be good. The chefs are starting up the fires at the grill, started heating it up. Here he threw in a bunch of logs, you know, a lot of firewood. So in 10 minutes it should be super hot and then they're gonna start making bread. And over here they're gonna put on lots of meat. I can't wait, I hear so many good things about the meat in Kosovo. My friend over here, Erjan was saying it's the best. All right, so my friends here are making all the appetizers. We have salad, so salad with cabbage, beans, we got beets, and over here we have, this is like a mixed plate, so it's like, cheese that has carrots and garlic and then we have some other creamy delicious uh basically paste right and you eat that with the bread so the chef just put peppers onto the coal so like super hot coal on the grill instead of putting it on top of the grill he put it like literally on the fire amazing wow he's gonna throw the bread inside right now let's go see it so he put the bread into the oven he left it there for like two minutes they puffed up and then he pulled them out, he flipped them over, put them back in, one more minute, and they're ready. This is truly amazing. He just added four tabas in there. They look so good. One of them is sarma, right? Sarma, he covered it with aluminum foil. The other ones, I don't know, he added also one with, uh, what was the cheese right there with the, the peppers? Kaimak with, with peppers. It's so good. Wow. Everything is boiling. They love their tavas in the Balkans. Wow. Go on, go on. So good. 
Hey, my friends, we are having a feast. We have like four tavas, five appetizers, we have soup, and we have meat coming. Plus, we're trying the local raki. Wow, bono, smooth. So my friend just served me basically all the appetizers, okay? So here we have Aivar, we have cheese with dill, we have an amazing salad, which has cabbage, carrots, cucumbers, beans, we also have a few different like creamy cheeses, and we have this amazing pepper. I'm gonna start with the pepper, pepper and cheese. Oh man. This is one of my favorite things from the Balkans, peppers with cheese. That's a really spicy pepper. <laughs> That's the spiciest thing I've had in this trip, man. Woo! <laughs> Veramente, questo è troppo. Mmm. <laughs> oh, as I said before, you know, everything in Kosovo is basically farmer table. Mmm. What a meal. What a feast. Wow, now I'm gonna try the cheese. I haven't had cheese with dill before. Not in, not Albania. Something new. Mm-hmm. Mm. So for Ivar, you add it to bread. Just enough. Might be a little spicy. Mm. I love Ivar. It's basically like roasted red peppers, right? And then broken down to this like delicious mash. Wow, I'll have more of that. That is so good. Mixed with this incredible bread. Mm. Yeah, so every single sauce with the bread. Holy smokes. So that was garlic, carrots, and cheese. It's like a, mm, spicy too. <laughs> My God, spice level here. Kosovo has way more spice than Albania, 100%. Mm. Oh yeah, this is good food. This is like, dude, organic. That we haven't even tried the tavas yet. All right guys, these are the entrees. So it's like four different tavas plus the meatballs, right? So it's like a meat patty. Over here we have dolma. This is albasan tava. Over here we have a vegetable and meat tava. This one is mantia. So what they did is basically they made a burek. You know, there's meat inside. They put it in the tava, they put yogurt, and then they put it into the oven. And here we go guys, I'm excited. Then I'm gonna jump on huh? this one first. Albasan, no? Mm. Whoa, so creamy. It has veal. Uh, what else? Cheese? Cheese. Oh. The tavas. That's the reason why you go to Albania and Kosovo for the tavas. Phenomenal dish. Mm. This one's incredible. All right, so here we have the mantia, right? So I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh man, nice. So it's dough, you have meat, you have yogurt, and it was all baked. Next up, let's jump on the dorma. So this is basically a rice meat wrapped with the vine leaf, right? So right here, the leaves. And then they put cheese, and they threw it in the tava, and then into the oven to bake. Mmm. Wow. Baking it changes everything. The flavor, a little smoky. Oh, it's like still sizzling. Everything's still very hot. In terms of tavas, I have one left, and this one's the vegetable one. Again, with meat. Looks so good. So we got veal, tomato, and carrots. Mmm. Well, everything fell apart. Love the moisture. I don't know how anything can get better, but I know the meat here is phenomenal. Let's try this. So they call it meatballs, but it's actually meat patties, and they added some onions. A little more meat, guys. The meat is too yummy. Wow, smoky, juicy. Mm. The chef here blew me away. My, this is like my first real intro to Kosovo food. Yesterday I had dinner, this morning I had burek, but this is like, wow. Gazor, gazor. Gazor, gazor, gazor. When you come to prison, come to Tiffany. Oh. 
right, guys, dessert, baklava. Baklava is found throughout the Balkans. Obviously, that was an influence from the Ottoman era. You can find it throughout every single country. This one looks amazing. Got walnuts, delicious dough. Oh. Mmm. So sweet. So the sweet, like, sauce it has is called ora, right? So it's similar to like a honey, but like more of a liquidy honey. For me, the baklava with walnuts is the best. Sometimes they put cream, other things, walnuts, always. Mmm. Falemenderi, falemenderi. Thank so much. And yeah, thank you. See you. Thank you. Ciao. Tiffany restaurant is a must when you come to prison. Wow, the food was phenomenal. Gotta say, everything from appetizers, you know, the raki, the delicious like burek and tava with yogurt. That was phenomenal. That one was my favorite. Me too, me too. That was like the ultimate. Also, the super spicy like cheese with pepper. Wow, it blew me away. Super hot though. I mean, if you're not into spicy, you're not gonna like that. It was a real heat wave in my mouth. <laughs> and yeah, guys, basically that's it for this morning. We saw tons of different shops. We went from, you know, jeweler shop. We saw a lot of like nut shops. We also went to a sewer and we walked around. These are like the shops you should see, right? And yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See the next travel food adventure in prison, Kosovo. Let's go.